for the materials for this, you're gonna need some copper sulfate. This I got from Seed Ranch. Copper plate. At this point, it should already have whatever ground you're using and then also, you know, drawn into or whatever. This has soft ground on it. A copper strip that's about half of an inch to three quarters of an inch wide and enough length for it to go into your tank and then rest on the outside edge of it. You need some duct tape or contact paper, whatever you prefer to use. Positive and negative uh, leads, ones with alligator clips, a direct current power source, one with um, an adjustable current and voltage. You're gonna need an etching tank. This is a cereal container I found at Target. Um, it was already broken, so I got a discount on it. You're going to need a cathode grill. This is gonna be the piece of metal that sits in there with the copper that completes the current inside the water. Ideally, you would be using copper, um, but if you're in a budget or you can't find it, um, barbecue grills, or in this case, this is supposed to sit at the bottom of a kitchen sink. And I just cut off the ends to fit the tank and then also bent it at a 90 degree angle to hang out over the top, just like the uh, contact strip. So step one is measuring out the um, copper sulfate. Basically, you're gonna need 250 grams for a strong etch to one liter of water. This container I'm going to put in four liters of water, so I need approximately um, 1,000 grams. I'm using a kitchen scale. You can find these, you know, at Target or Walmart or even on Amazon. They're not expensive at all. Or, I mean, you could probably even hit up your, you know, local drug dealer or whatever. For this step, you're just gonna mix it together. You want it to look like a darker Windex. You see as I pour more in there, um, it turns into pretty much the same color as Windex. Um, it won't be as clear as Windex, but it will be that same shade of blue. And then that's how you kind of know that you're putting it in like correctly, I guess. I'm also using warm water. It helps it dissolve a little bit faster. I mean, it does take quite a while of stirring to get it to uh, dissolve completely, but you really need it to be dissolved completely. If there's any at the bottom, just keep stirring. Um, you might be stirring for a few minutes, but uh, trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. Here, I'm also using a rubber spatula, something I just had laying around. Keep the lid closed at any time that you're not etching. This will prevent um, any dust or dirt or any debris that you don't want in there. It'll keep it out. So at this point, you should already have your plate worked on. So here I'm putting the contact strip onto the back of the plate. I'm gonna use duct tape um, to secure those together to create a surface-to-surface -surface contact. You need it to be touching at least three quarters to an inch. This duct tape will also prevent the back of the plate from etching. You can also use contact paper or you know anything really that's gonna create a like watertight bond and also provide a surface-to-surface -surface contact for the strip and the piece of copper. You need to make sure that all of the bubbles and creases are relatively smoothed out so that no solution will get onto the plate because what will touch will etch. It's similar to how traditional acids are, that if it's exposed, it will etch. So basically now it's time to etch. Um, go ahead and open the lid. You're also gonna need the cathode grill in the electrolyte with the copper. You need them to be hanging parallel to each other. This cereal container has like handles on it so it doesn't sit exactly parallel, but that's fine. And they need to be sitting only a few inches away from each other. Four to six inches is ideal. You're gonna connect the positive, so the red lead, to the copper, and the black lead, so that's the negative, to the cathode grill. And like I said, ideally this would be copper, but um, stainless steel works just fine. So at this point, just turn it on. Um, you need it to be set at 0.5 volts. It just takes a little bit of time and patience to get it set at that.
Every 15 minutes, you need to take the plate out of the water to um, rinse off all of the like etched parts. Um, similar to a horizontal bath, the, the, the copper will get into those grooves and prevent further etching. Thankfully, the etching times are very, very similar to traditional acid. A thousand grams of copper sulfate to four liters of water will take 60 to 70 minutes to have some pretty solid black lines. Um, that's all I got for you guys.